Last week it was hand cut dovetails. This week it's CNC. I guess I'm going from hand cut to high tech. That coming up. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Nick. A while back, Inventables had contacted me and they said they wanted to send me, at no cost to me, a Shapeoko 2 CNC mill. They basically wanted me to do a video about the ABCs of CNCs and to see whether it's actually easy to put together and how user friendly the experience is overall. Well, let's get started with the assembly. When the box arrived, I was actually quite surprised at how small it was. I mean, it was a heavy box, but everything was all packed in there nice and tight. I also ordered the additional spindle mount for a quarter inch collet router. One of the things I noticed right off the bat was this nice nylon bag with real wrenches, rather than the press metal wrenches you normally get from assembling stuff. I laid everything out on the table and made sure I had everything, and then I could get started. So I started with the instructions, getting started. There are a multitude of ways to set up the machine, so the instructions aren't necessarily numerically sequential, although I do wish they would be. At some point I was searching for a brass part only to find a few lines later that it was now a nickel part. Assembly isn't really that bad at all. They have you make some of the assemblies and then set them aside and go to other assemblies. So basically you're making sub-assemblies and then putting them all together. There is a step in there about tapping the ends of the extrusion with I believe a M5 tap. This is kind of tedious and time consuming and I would like to see that these come pre-tapped and I checked the website and the new version Shapeoko 3 has that already taken care of. Other than those couple little things the assembly went pretty easy. The full kit includes a bunch of wire ties and heat shrink tubing which is really nice to try and route all the cables so that they don't get damaged. And it looks pretty. I then taped down some paper and opened up their universal G-code sender. And that's where you can kind of play around with some of the controls of the CNC and it's pretty user friendly. After testing the depth a couple times, I didn't want to smash my marker into the wasteboard. I had it all fine tuned and then I could run the hello world file. Here I sped up the video footage to 400%. Well that concludes the hello world file that they want you to run when you're done assembling the machine. It's actually a really good file to run because it tells you a lot about what's going on. You might have the different axes reversed and that you can correct right in the software. Or in my case, the X and Y axis aren't necessarily coplanar with the work surface itself. That's why you can see my letters getting a little bit darker as the, as the word wrote. That's completely changeable and correctable and should only take me about 10 or 15 minutes. If you're looking at getting into the CNC market, the Shapeoko 2 is a wise choice. At its price point, you're not going to find anything anywhere near it, but also I like the fact that you assemble the machine yourself, because any type of maintenance or any problems that might arise in years to come, you're not going to spend hours and hours troubleshooting because, well quite frankly, you know every nut, bolt, and washer on that thing. I'm pretty anxious to get a spindle in here and start cutting some material, so I'm going to cut this video a little bit short, but either way, I'll see you guys next week.